it's always a great asset to have and you can always rent it for more than your mortgage payment. Buying and holding is key. What would you do if you had to start all over again? One of the things I would do is get to know notes. But the other thing that I would really, really, really take heart in is investing in myself. I would make sure that I've joined your local real estate investor association meeting. I would go to all the small groups that they have that are not associated with the main meeting, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's nothing more important than being able to sit across the table and break bread with someone who has the same desires and scope of work and interest in real estate that you have and you learn about them, they learn about you, it's a great way to network. You have to build that network and hang around others that can bring you up and make you smarter. If you lost everything, how would you start over? That is a great question. I was on a millionaire's panel for the Greenville Real Estate Investor Association meeting, and this was an awesome, awesome question for me to really ponder because there's so many different answers that you could have for this. But for, for me, the first thing that I would do is I would learn notes. If you understand the note business, you can put any deal together. There's nothing that will come across your desk that you can't make work. Understanding notes and how they work and all the terms that you can use, it's not just one term, there's several different pieces to that puzzle that you can put together to make it work for that one particular house, whatever its personality is and whatever it's going to be when it grows up and you're ready to finish up with it. So get to know notes. What would you do different in the changing market for today? Well, for me, I love everything about real estate, first of all. I love every kind of deal that's out there. I love the shiny objects. There's so many different things that you can do. But in today's market, with things a little bit on edge, we don't know what's really going on, is I would really be looking at property that is a buy, lipstick, and hold. And what I mean is be sure you're not over improving on a house right now. I also like the idea of holding on to property. It's always a great asset to have and you can always rent it for more than your mortgage payment. Buying and holding is key.